The disease that had begun with mild symptoms got worse and worse. It became a cancer that seemed incurable. We are already seeing these symptoms in the United States. Big cities in decline like Baltimore, Portland, New York, just to name a few. Places where crime and drugs have become, have become the daily norm and even accepted and promoted by the government. How many young people have you lost to the streets of Philadelphia or San Francisco to fentanyl? Did we see these apocalyptic sites 15, 10, 5 years ago? Can you imagine how it will be in the next 5, 10, or 15 years? The same thing was happening in El Salvador. In the span of less than a decade, gangs took control of all the country and our society. They evolved into a parallel government, controlling elections and even political parties. Every aspect of the daily life of most people was controlled by the gangs. Murder capital of the world is a tragic title to hold. Getting rid of, what, of that was the bare minimum we had to achieve in order to even start thinking about rebuilding our country. President Nay Bukele of El Salvador navigates a complex narrative, mirroring challenges in the United States. The article delves into his concerns about social corruption, drawing parallels to issues like crime and drug challenges in certain U.S. urban areas. Bukele's cautionary tale emphasizes the decline of a city, echoing public worries. The narrative highlights governmental leniency on crime, the crucial role of law and order, and critics of lax attitudes, potentially fueling public concerns. Bakley's observations about youth on the streets and drug-related problems prompt contemplation on future generations' well-being, aligning with democratic family values. The use of terms like apocalyptic underscores democratic anxieties emphasizing the urgency to address perceived societal breakdowns.